This video is going to teach you how to use construction and loci um, in your exam. We're going to look at bisecting a line and bisecting an angle and then using construction to answer loci questions. Before we begin, it's really important that you understand that the word bisection or bisecting a line means to cut it exactly in half. Okay, so bisecting a line then. In the exam, you might just be given a straight line like this and be asked to bisect it. The first thing you need to do is to get out a compass. Okay, uh, You should know how to set up a compass. The main thing is that the point, so the sharp bit of the compass and the pencil um, itself need to line up exactly. So just before you use your compass, make sure you close it and make sure that's, ha that's happened. So to bisect a line then, really simple. The sharp bit of your compass needs to go at the end of the line. You need to open your compass more than halfway along the line, so it's no good being here, it must be more than halfway. And then you really simply just draw a curved line like this, which is called an arc. You then move the compass to the other end of the line. Again, make sure that the needle is right at the edge. But do not, under any circumstances, um, change the, this distance, the distance between the pencil and the um, and the sharp part of your compass, otherwise your answer will be incorrect. Okay, so then I'm going to draw another arc, so that's another curved line. And you should see that they cross at two points, so they intersect here and they intersect there. To finish off your question, all you need to do is just draw a straight line to match up those two intersections and then now you've got this half the line will be the same size as this half the line. You've bisected it. You can always check that by measuring. So let's have a quick look. That's 56 millimeters and this side again 56. Brilliant. Okay so that's bisecting a line. Uh, so the other type of question you might get with this would be uh, to bisect a line but at a specific point. That's the next thing we're going to look at. So as you can see there's a, a dot here on the line and in the exam they'll always tell you where they want you to bisect the line, so where they want you to, to cut the line here. Now obviously if you're bisecting the line at a point you're not cutting it exactly in half, but what you will do is you'll be creating a 90 degree angle here when you draw your bisector. Okay, so that's what they're looking for. So again, compass. This time, because we can't go to one end and then the other end, we need to create some sort of some new um, endpoints for the line. So I always find the easiest way to do this is just to draw a nice big circle. So put the compass, make sure it's right in the middle of the point. And then just draw yourself a nice, nice big circle. Now we'll ignore these bits of our line and we'll ignore these bits of our line and we'll just foc focus on the circle that we've got. So these become our new end points. So exactly the same as last time now. Get that in the end. Make sure your pen's more than halfway. And then draw an arc. Again, over here, set up your compass accurately, draw another arc, and then join that up with a straight line. So you can see that it sort of looks like an eye with a um, sort of a strange eyeball in it. There's maybe weird lashes coming off. Just going to move that over a little bit. Get them more accurate. There we go. In your exam, your point won't be that big. Okay, there we go. So that's bisecting a line at a specific point. 
The next thing is bisecting an angle. So again, we're going to cut this angle in half. We're going to end it with a line sort of approximately here so that both the, these degrees are the same length. Sorry, the same size even. So the only difference with this is that we need three arcs this time, so three curved lines. Again, you must remember that the point there goes right in the corner, but it doesn't really matter how wide your compass is this time. So I'm going to open mine to something like that. And I'm going to draw a nice arc all the way around. Now I'm not going to change the size of the distance between the pen and the uh, needle like last time, really important. And I'm going to put the needle there where we've created an intersection. Again, really simple nice smooth arc then over to the side set your compass up correctly again nice smooth arc then we join it up with our pencil and our ruler okay just make sure again that's done accurately okay you can always check this in the exam that's the lovely thing about maths we can see if we're right or wrong set your protractor up and we're going to see how big each angle is make sure you're really accurate when you do this Okay, so the first one is approximately 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, around 49. And if you move this around, this one 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's perfect. 49 and 50 is absolutely fine. So that's how we bisect an angle. Now, bisecting a line and an angle are often called upon when we have questions that involve loci. Now, this word loci is a really important exam word that you need to know. The loci means the set of points that satisfy certain conditions. So, if we have a look at the next question, find the loci, I'm going to underline that, of points three centimetres away from point A. So there's a certain number of points that are going to be three centimetres away from point A. So, well, how are we going to find them? Well, first thing is we're going to need to get a ruler. And we should know that there are 30 millimetres in three centimetres. That's the distance that one. And if I just put a dot there, that would be one point. Okay, that would be one point, which is three centimetres away from A. However, we want every single point, every single point. So we're not going to want to measure with the ruler the whole way round of A for three centimetres. So instead, grab your compass, open your compass to three centimetres, and then we can just draw a line which satisfies that condition. So the red line is the loci of the points that satisfy the condition that we need to be three centimetres away from A. Okay, another loci question. Find the loci of points equidistant from points A, B. Well, equidistant, that means they need to be an equal distance from A and B. So that point there, so this is approximating now. This point here is going to be so the same distance from A and B. That point there would be, that point there would be, that point there, that point there, that point there. If I draw some blue dots, these ones wouldn't say, like, this dot here is closer to B than A. This dot here is closer to A than B. So we can see that we need this straight line down here. Now we know how to bisect a line in half, because we learned that earlier. So all we need to do is grab our compass and do exactly what we did last time. 
open it to more than halfway between the two points, draw an arc, go to the other end of the line. If you're finding it hard to visualise, what we can do is draw a line in so you can visualise what it is that we're actually bisecting. So if I put that in for you, so here's the line we're bisecting. Back to the compass now. Again, remember, really, really important, don't change this distance between the pencil and the needle. And I'm going to go all the way around again. And then we're going to join that up with our ruler and our pencil. Okay. So this line here is the loci of the points equidistant from AB. Okay then, so what else might we be asked? Well, you might not see this straight away as being a question where you need to use construction, but be very, very clear in your exam. Really, really think about what it is that you're going to want to use. So here's our question. Find the loci of points, the loci, equidistance, so an equal distance from line AB, so that's line here, AB, and lines BC. Okay, so that's this line here. So it's going to be, again, I'll approximate with a different colour. It's going to be sort of a line looking a bit like this. So thinking back to all of the questions that we've done, you should hopefully think, okay, well, I need to bisect this angle. So that's what we're going to do. Grab the compass. Put it in between the two lines, draw our first arc, don't change the distance in between the needle and the pen, instead move it over and draw an arc, move the needle over to the other join you made, set it up correctly, be nice and accurate and draw another arc. As you can see my two intersections have gone right into the corner of the where the angle starts, so that doesn't matter, that's fine. Last thing, get your ruler, get your pencil and join up your two intersections. So I'm just going to do that again because that was a bit wonky. And I think I'll use a different colour as well. So use this purple. So you start right in the corner. Okay, so the purple line here is the loci of points that are equidistant from AB. What you also might be asking in your exam is to shade the loci of points that are nearer to line BC, so nearer to this line than they are to this line here. So once you've bisected your angle, if they do ask you that, you must just shade in all of the points within the area you're working in on the right hand side, so the one the points that are closer to BC than to AB. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. You can find many of these types of questions on past exam paper questions, so definitely go and ask your teacher if you feel like you need practice on these.